Hello! In this video, you will learn how to adjust skin colors by numbers with curves in 3D LUT Creator. <music> 3D LUT Creator has had tools for working with RGB curves for a long time, but recently the program interface has been updated. This is why we decided to make this tutorial. Usually, working with RGB curves means separate adjustments to the red, green, and blue components of the image. However, 3D LUT Creator lets you control the RGB curves to adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness separately for specific colors. It is very convenient, especially when you need to correct the skin tone, and I will do it in this video. I load a reference image with the skin tone I like. Then, I add the eyedropper and add skin colors to the swatches. I will add three colors with different lightnesses, one from highlights, one from midtones, and one from shadows. I have color swatches displayed in the HSV color space. It can be selected from the list if you right-click on the numerical value of the color. If you click on it with the left mouse button and the shift key held down, the color model will change in all the swatches. I will also add three colors from my image. Note that the colors should be different in lightness, otherwise the points on the curves will be too close and you will get artifacts during color correction. The second thing that you should pay attention to is that the color should be taken from places on the skin where there are no other colors. For example, blush and other makeup or color casts as in this case. The red background affects the skin on the leg so it looks redder than it actually is. The color table is complete. Now I will match the skin tone of my image as close as possible to the reference. You can do this in several ways. So let's match the hue, saturation, and if necessary, the lightness. And I will do this with the help of the tools for working with RGB curves. I choose the hue tool and change the hue for all colors. To change the color, click on the swatch with the shift key pressed and drag it up or down. Now I select the SAT tool and change the saturation. The hue has changed a little. I will correct it. This is what we've got. The lightness looks okay and I will not change it. Let's compare it with the reference and with the original image. On the final image, there are some skin problems. Let's consider why it happened. Our working image and the reference are very different in saturation. When you adjust the saturation with the help of the curves, the variability of skin color greatly increases. Therefore, on the final image, the skin looks uneven and has color spots. What to do in such cases? I'll switch to a new version of the editing so that it can be compared to the first one. To avoid increasing the variability of skin color, the saturation of the original image must be reduced before applying the curves. How can you do that? First, you can go to the AB tab and reduce the saturation of the entire image so that the saturation of our colors is approximately equal to the saturation of the reference. Now I go to the Curves tab and I adjust the hue and saturation with tools for working with curves. This is the result. Compare this with the reference. And now with the original image. And let's compare it with the first version where I only use the curves. I press Control Alt 1. Let me remind you that this color correction was made without reducing the saturation first. And here we get this image with reduced saturation beforehand. The skin looks better in the second variant. How else can you decrease the saturation? Well, I go into the first edit and reset all the settings. In this case, I will decrease the saturation using the saturation luminance curve. The color table is already there, so I can go to the Sat Loom Curve tab and make the curve active. 
You don't need to choose the tools for working with the curves. You just need to click on the three colors in the swatches. Now we have three points on the sat loom curve. So you will be able to adjust the saturation for certain ranges of brightness. You can move the points using the arrows on the keyboard. The saturation is now decreased and you can use these tools for working with the curves. Let's now compare this version with the edit where I decreased the saturation of the entire image. The background is slightly different. To fix this, I delete the extreme points on the sat loom curve by right-clicking on them. Let's compare it again. The images are almost identical. I now go to the first edited version. I swap the working image and the reference by pressing Alt plus equals. In this case, I will match the desaturated photo to the saturated one. But first, I need to change the pairs of the colors in the swatches. By clicking on the letter L, I move the colors of the working image, that is, the local colors, to the global colors, or to the column for the colors of the reference. I will do the same for reference colors. Since the saturation of the images is very different, I will first increase the saturation, and then I will work with the curves. Now I can adjust the hue. I can still work a little with the saturation. Compare the before and after, and with the reference. How even easier could it be done in this case? I go into the edited version that I did before. Let me remind you that I had already reduced the saturation of the image. Now I go to the Mask tab, and with the Blend slider, I invert the action of our first LUT, which matched the saturated image to the desaturated. That is, now this LUT will increase the saturation instead of decreasing it. Some users have asked how to invert the LUT. Actually, it's like this. I switch back to the previous version of the edit. The hue of the hair and background has also been changed. I will correct it with the help of the saturation mask. Here is the picture before applying the mask, and there is the after. This is the original image, that is the result. I will explain in the following lessons how to work with masks in 3D LUT Creator. That's all for today. I hope this video was useful to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.